Hey guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to connect your Mac slash PC to any TV. Just using a couple of different tools. Let's go ahead and get started. The tools below are what you're going to need. The tools below will depend on what kind of MacBook or Mac or PC you have. Since I have a later edition MacBook, these are the tools I will need and I'll show you how to use them on this device. The newer MacBooks will use similar tools, but they are made newer for the type of device you have. The three tools that I'm going to be using for this video for my device are going to be a stereo mini to RCA or Y cable, mini DVI to VGA adapter that's in the middle. The one I mentioned before is on the left right here. I'll go ahead and give you a little zoom in. Okay. Then we have the mini DVI to VGA adapter. And off to the right here, you are going to need a VGA display cable. Now these will depend, like I said, and you can check out other videos to see what you need for your type of your type of device. Let's go ahead and get started with the whole process. Along the side of your device, or anywhere on your device, you should, you should find some of these ports. Okay, now you're going to take your mini DVI to VGA adapter right here this one and it should have kind of like a display like that. I'm going to go ahead and plug that in to the port that I show you right here. Right there, that one. See how it says has the same logo? This one right here. Go ahead and plug that in. Should fit perfectly. Now what you're going to want to do is go ahead and take one end of the VGA display cable and connect it to your mini DVI to VGA adapter. Don't worry, either side works. So what you're going to do is go ahead and take it. Sorry about that. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that they match up, kind of like the fat ends, you know. Go ahead and plug it in. And there is no need for tightening really but you might just want it if it's kind of hanging just to keep it in place make sure it's tight in there moving on to the next step now for this step you're going to want to go ahead and take your VGA display cable and go ahead and find the VGA or the, like what looks like this on the back of your TV it should look something like that okay and I found it right there it's on my TV I'm gonna go ahead and make sure everything looks good Go ahead and stick it in. Alright, once again, tightening is not needed, but it is suggested if it is hanging. Now what you're going to do is go over to your Mac slash PC and go, ha go ahead and find a setting called Displays. Go ahead and click on that. You should get something like this. It should show your original display and the one that you've hooked up. If it has not detected it yet, go ahead and hit Detect Displays, which I'll show you right now. Detect Displays, right there. Once it has found it, go ahead and go over to the selected output uh, TV or screen you want. Go ahead and select the resolutions, and you can gather windows, show displays, and menu bar, which I like to do. And it shows it up at the top here and you can go by arrangement and color okay now we're gonna go ahead and exit out of that so now that you have everything ready to go now what you're gonna go ahead and do is press the input button on your controller turn it towards your TV select your input uh, hold on. select your input and we want to go to let's see if I can do this we want to go to VGA and then you select it. Okay. Now you should get a black screen to start off because it is one of the first times you're going to be doing it. If you have a Mac, you'll get that screen. That is the original kind of logo slash background theme that you get on your Mac when you first get it. So you should have that. Now to test that it's working, we're going to go ahead and do a simple test. This is just creating two windows. This is your main window, that's your second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up an application and I'm going to go ahead and drag it over to the other screen and that way we can tell. 
So here's Mozilla Firefox. Let's go and drag it just a little bit. And you can see that it's right there. Now if I go ahead and drag it some more, and there it goes. And it should be off of there. Okay. So that's if you want two displays. Now you can also drag it back and put it in its correct place. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn on screen mirroring. And this is an option if you have a Mac. And it says turn on mirroring. I'm going to go ahead and select that option. And right away the screen should go like that. And then should mirror my screen. So as you can see there's my dock and everything. And it has the same screen over here. If you're wondering why there's black, like a little black around the outside, that's because I have not set the resolution to the appropriate um, to the appropriate setting. If you would like to have sound coming out of your TV, not just your computer, you're going to go ahead and need to buy this this cable. It is the Stereo Mini to RCA or Y cable, okay? And that allows you to connect a 3.5 millimeter cord into your into your Mac and then you can connect the red and white into the back of your into the back of your in the back of your TV where you see the red and white displayed. I'm fine without the audio going out through my TV so that I'm going to end the video right now. If you'd like to follow me on Twitter link in the description and for more great tech videos and more Apple product reviews and such things as that go ahead and subscribe below or up top wherever the subscribe button is, go ahead and click it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.